Yeah. Hey, crazy question. We are going through a class learning how to give encouraging words to people. Can we practice on it? It's so much fun, you guys. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. And is it okay? I have a YouTube channel for encouragement. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what are your names? I'm Bodie. I'm Caitlin. Brody? Bodie. Bodie. Nice. And Caitlin. Awesome. My name is Kavika. I'm Cameron. Yeah. Awesome. And so in this class, we're actually learning how to hear God's voice for his specific encouragement. So we can give you like some generic, but it's so much fun just leaning into his heart and just echoing what we see in here. And so we're going to start with Caitlin, right? Mm-hmm. Caitlin. Caitlin or Caitlin? Caitlin. Kate, Caitlin. Awesome. Sorry. It, it'd be wrong if we started with Bodie. Are you guys like brother, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend, homies? Boyfriend, girlfriend. Nice. Awesome. Love it. So, um, yeah, so we're just going to lean in for um, Caitlin. But when I saw you, I felt like God was saying that you have such a mother's heart. And I see like this, um, just such a gift of compassion that rests on you. And I feel like kids just like flock to you. Like, like little kids, I feel like they just love you. And you have this like ability that God's wired you with. Um, just for children and you have just such a such a huge heart for that and I also feel like there's a gift to teach that he's given you and I see him um, even I feel like you just have that DNA and that wiring have you ever thought about teaching I did actually (laughs) yeah cool well let that be a confirmation that Jesus has even wired you with a gift to teach because he just wants to highlight that um, just that ability because it takes patience but I literally see like teaching kids and that mother's heart that you have is um, is just so key for that and he just he just wants to highlight that you're such a gift to kids and that patience that unconditional love that compassion that mother's heart um, and I see you being a mother to many you know like um, like even even that aren't yours but even just a mother to many you just have a gift there does that make sense yeah god has wired you for that what are you hearing cameron i just see such a resilience and i uh i'm hearing the song summer breeze i think it's like george something and it's like summer breeze makes me feel fine and the holy spirit was just showing me that that's how everyone feels when they're around you you're almost like the summer breeze you come in and you're just like hello and everyone feels your presence and that's something that God has blessed you with, truly, that you have the ability to walk into any space and be like, I'm commanding peace, actually, I'm doing it for myself and for everyone here. Yeah, <laughs> Thank I, you. I can like, that resonates, like I can actually feel that breeze coming from you, I feel like you're refreshing, and I feel like you're an encourager, and you're just always encouraging people, and so God just wants to highlight that. And um, yeah, so good. And Bodhi, I feel like, um, I feel like you're a protector, I feel like you're um, you're you're uh, you're solid and you're safe, and I see you kind of like um, just like this lion, that's just kind of like you, you take care of yours, you know, you take care of yours, you take care of your family, you're you're um, you're very intentional, um, and there's safety in your stead, kind of like you know um, like Mufasa to Simba, you know, uh, it's like there's safety in your stead. And I, I just see a strong um, heartbeat for justice that you have even, um, I feel like you have a, a, a strong heart just for like what's right and like things being right and things being true and things being solid and um, you just have such a, such a gift in that. And, um, and I feel like God wants to give you some 2020 vision um, just as far as like exactly where to aim for like in all you do even with like work and with um, vocation. Are you, are you working right now? Um, I work a little bit. Are things kind of unclear in that area? Um, it was, yeah, for a okay. little bit. Okay, yeah, I feel like God just has just some clear, clear leading um, and clear vision for you. So I just I pray that for you in Jesus' name. What are you hearing, Cameron? Thank you. I see you as a penguin, and I'm seeing like when they have the <laughs> eggs, like the males are taking the egg, and they're all like huddling together, and they're like trying to stay warm. I just have this feeling that you will go to know to every length for your family and for the people that yeah. you love. And I'm also seeing like there's this thing that penguins do when they pick out the prettiest rock on the beach and they like give it to the person that they love. I just 
the bond that you guys have is very special and to understand that God has blessed that union like he really he loves he loves I can see it truly how much he loves y'all's love <laughs> if that makes any sense yeah that's real and do you have like like family wise like just some solid like patriotic like roots with family i just feel that man just like you know america and you know forget this woke and you know like just does that make sense just like man true to the to our roots and and i just see that bro and i i just want you to know that that is just so gold and it's awesome and i i I just got mad respect for that and so i just say represent loud um because because god has given you that so that's so cool. Now, is there anywhere in your bodies that need physical healing? Is there any back pain or knee pain or anything going on? I always on? got pain. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, is that like normal pain or is there some extra pain? That's this one. Yeah. Here, so. Yeah. Yeah. Just, is there anything we can pray just for ease maybe? Just or, for everything to go okay. Yeah, totally. Well, would it be okay if Cameron prays for this little one? Yeah. Do you know if it's boy or girl yet? Oh boy. Boy, do you have a name yet? Weston. Weston. Oh, All right, name. cool. Yeah, would it be okay if Cameron just grabs your hand of and just prays? Yeah, My come on. Oh, me too. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Father God, I thank you so much for this divine appointment, and I thank you for the love that you have for them and that you want to amplify their spiritual senses so that you can they understand the blessings that you have in, for them. I ask that you yes, open their God. heart further to your wants and their needs, their needs for you. I ask that you open more dialogue for them and that you whisper in their ear the things that they need to hear from you and give them those times of comfort in that secret place when they go to see you, Father. I ask that you bless this child with health and wealth that their family, that you give them nothing but love and support and that you create them with such a divine love. Yes, love Jesus. Thank you, Father. I see this in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, and I feel like Weston, I feel like God's showing me that he has like, um, he's going to have a business entrepreneur gifting. And I feel like he's going to be very business minded and just that entrepreneur ability that, um, so you're going to have like a little hustler, oh, yeah. you know, that's, uh, <laughs> that's awesome. And I feel like it's even coming down from your generational line. And so are you hearing anything Vincent for these two? Uh, perseverance, you push through everything. Yeah. Yeah. Very eager, yeah. Eager and persevering, come on. Yeah, so good. What about for uh, Bodhi, anything? I'm here in a pillar, you're strong here. Just taking it all in and just having kindness come out. Yeah, you guys are awesome. So if you were to die today, do you believe you'd go to heaven? How come? Because I don't think that there's just nothing after that. I mean, we came from something. I don't think yeah. we all just appeared. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's a good answer. So here's what Jesus said. It's so important is that all have sinned and fallen short. So there's nobody that's not sinned, right? And it says that he died. God loved you and me so much that Jesus came to the earth and he died and he took the penalty we deserve so that we wouldn't have to. And he said, I love Caitlin, I love Bodhi so much that I'm going to die in their place so they can be forgiven. There's nothing you do to earn it, but he said, I paid the price for that. And I tell you guys, receiving that, hands down, he's your, he purchased it. But it's not even like a go to heaven for free card. It's like a relationship that he invited. And I think you guys know that. But it's so important to have that established. Does that make sense? Do you guys agree? Yeah. What? So repeat after me. Just say, Jesus, Jesus. I believe believe. you died for me. And I receive your gift. I receive receive forgiveness. forgiveness. 